What's up everyone, Doyler here, and I'm back on the free-to-play account. I'm gonna show off some broken spaces. I still have a lot of time until my monthly is reset, and I wanted to see just how well the E3, E1, Horus, and support can handle. Margaret and maybe Gru. Um, probably won't push much, much past Gru. I'm gonna save these tickets for next month, maybe do a full run. So, gonna start out running Horus, full six-star gear, fearless armor, and the block HP stone. Horse is probably going to be the majority of our damage, so if he's not squishy at all, we'll move some stuff around. Heart Watcher, 9-star, running 4-star gear and some unupgraded Treads of Lightness. Um, we're not going to upgrade those yet because we got other stuff to upgrade. Sigmund, going to run full 5-star gear with a Crying Undead. Uh, it's the best thing he's got. Actually, she should be running this. Nope, it's worse. All right. Um... Gonna run that 8-star Flora with a 2-2... Two, two, oh, we're on her. I was gonna give her 4-star gear, but... We don't run Starlight anymore. Okay. So, we're gonna actually run a bit more aggressive Flora. We're gonna run her a 4-1 split. Or a 3-1 split. Give her a bit more attack. She's got a 4-star Antlers Cane. Can we push that one more level? I don't think so. Oh, if we use the Emerald Butterfly, we can. Probably not gonna use that ever. Um, yeah. All right, so we're gonna stop there. So almost fully upgraded Antlers Cane. And then the last two spots, we're gonna start with those two ticks copies. We're both running a 2-2 split, one with Fearless and one with just Eye of Hell. See if they can't survive. Um, so between the two ticks copies and the heart watcher copies, our survivability should be fine. We've got Sigmund for the burn and armor break, Flora for some poison damage, and Horus for tankiness and probably damage. So I'm curious to see how we handle stage three. Um, also, let's check our pet before we jump in, our monster. So he can't level up anymore. We can get one more HP rune, so it doesn't hurt. So let's see how we do. Not expecting to clear this in a ton of tickets, but wanted to show off just the early game free to play account. Um, and then we'll, we'll maybe swap some gear and stuff around if this goes really well or really poorly. So we may be overkill on the survivability front. Um, not a lot of sustain on our team outside of uh, Flora and Horus, but the Phoenix heal over time should be enough, especially coming with just the huge amount of attack debuffs we're going to put out. Though the ticks is getting pretty low. But yeah, I mean, if they get hit with one Phoenix buff, they'll be ticking to full basically every time. We can't quite max the attack debuffs on them, but we can, I mean, we get them pretty low at this point. Not a lot of damage, though. I mean, we're in round 12 and we've barely done 1%. But we'll be able to optimize after this, see how much more damage Flora did than Horse, or vice versa. And optimize our damage dealers that way. I'm not concerned about Horus' survivability against this wave. So in the end, we did... 20, 287 million, so not terrible. So yeah, Horus, Sigmund, then Flora. So let's build around that. Move this, we'll give her um, Azrael. It's just more damage. So Horus, we're gonna go more aggressive. Can we go four star gear on him? We can also try the two Rogans in place of the two ticks copies. See if our survivability is still there and if we get more damage. So let's also try that. We'll run two Rogans instead of ticks copies. None of these give HP. Um, we'll just run him with that Eye of Hell. And then we will... She's found Azrael. Sigmund's found that way. We have a four-star accessory we can take off of someone. Um...
Heart Watcher doesn't do a ton of damage. We'll run Heart Watcher tankier. Just to get the accessory for Horus. And then this will give Horus a bit more attack. And we'll run him with the Antler's Cane. I think he'll still be fine survivability wise. He's still rocking 104% block, so it'll be 69% um, after their precision. Heart Watcher's 2 2. Sigmund. Um, we will run the Fearless Armor on the other Rogan. So we'll run both Rogans with DR. They're going to be there just to buff our three damage dealers. Does this account not have two Rogans? Am I crazy? Is it the other free to play? Oh, the other free to play account, so with the two Rogans. So we'll run one Rogan and one Tix, then. I think that'll be good. So this is his artifact anyway. So we'll still have some debuffing. Um, the Tix doesn't do a ton of damage, but should help keep the Rogan alive even. So let's try that setup. So we did 5%. I think we can beat that. So we'll drop this Tix for a Rogan copy. And we've built our heroes a bit more aggressive. So let's see how this works. And Rogan also gives us a little sustain if he stays alive um, with his Bloodthirsty. Even at 5 star, it's a little something. So Horus and Siggy will heal. Yeah, Horus has a ton of sustain for this, and he's helping keep everyone else alive. So definitely don't need both Tix copies for Broken Spaces, at least. Just for reference, this free-to-play account was started on July 11th, so it's a little over, it's three months and one week old now, so just to compare how it's doing time-wise versus how some of you were um, asking me how you were doing time-wise, so it's three months and one week old, definitely trying to play optimally and not rushing any heroes, unlike the race account. So yeah, that was significantly higher, um, a lot more damage from Horus, Siggy, and Flora. Uh, I don't think we can really replace that second ticks with anything. So we did another 5%. Um, yeah. I don't, we don't need Amon Ra. We don't need a second tick. So I think that's about it for the for this play. And we can't upgrade our warrior tech any further yet. Oh, uh, we get a little more tech. Which helps both Sigmund and Horus. So, with that said, we're going to finish this off. We've got a lot of tickets. So that is two tickets so far. Let's see how many it takes us in the end. Drop the ticks, add the Rogan. So we're at 310. So in the end, that took 15. So only 17 tickets for Broken Spaces 3. Not bad at all. Um, let's do one attempt at Broken Spaces 4. See if I want to show that off as well. I don't know how much damage we're going to do these grooves. But 15 tickets for Broken Spaces 3 at this level is not bad at all. Um, usually I recommend trying to clear in 15 tickets or less if you're early game, so that's right where we want to be. I'm guessing Guru's going to be way too hard for this team. Even survivability may be an issue. Um, that Heart Watcher might go down if we can't get a Bloodthirsty on her especially. Yep. Can we tag her? Okay, she gets tagged with the Phoenix at least. So I think we're gonna be in a better place. We'll have more debuffs on them. I don't think we're gonna do 5% to them though. So I think we're gonna wrap it up with a Broken Spaces 3 clear. I just wanna see if everyone survives, just really for my reference even. I'm also thinking about orbing on this account before Black Friday as well. Um, it has 230 orbs, but if I did two loops for the Tix event, that would be Tix copies 4 and 5. So I'd basically be set for Sealand 20 once everything was said and done, once I got my 5 energy artifacts and got horse to E5. So it might be worth it, plus there's a chance at another horse copy if I do all of my orbs and swaps in Shadow. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. It would be... About 160 out of my 230 orbs, so I'd sort of be screwed for Black Friday on this free-to-play account. Um, but the ticks copies and possible horse copies could be nice for progress. So I think survivability-wise will be okay. Um, some RNG will be required to keep this Heart Watcher alive, but I could also swap the Heart Watcher for Sigmund even. He's a little tankier. Um, can we tag her? We can. Alright, let's skip to the end. So in the end, we still put out 260 million. Mostly Horus, Siggy, and Flora as expected. Unfortunately, that's only 2%, so we're not going to do any more on this level. 
We still got plenty of rewards for this, so I'm looking forward to using those. But that is going to be it for this video. I know it ran a little long, but hopefully it shows off where the free-to-play count is and what you can do with an E1 horse. So be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you like the content. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.